Hey guys, so today we are going to be um, talking about customary and metric conversion. So going from customary units to metric units and then metric units to customary units and all the things in between. Um, so what you're gonna do is you are going to set up a proportion um, and this is what we've been doing. And in the first part, you are going to write the conversion that they give you. So in this problem, it says, Lacey is making coffee for her friend Katie. She makes two and three-fourth quarts of, this should say coffee, not tea. So that's how much, um, how many quarts she has. So we need to figure out how many cups of coffee she made. So when I say you're gonna write the conversion first, four cups equals one quart, that's the conversion. So four cups equals one quart. So four cups is a quart. And what you're gonna do second is fill in what they give you. So it says that she makes two and three quarters quarts of tea. So our quarts was on the bottom, so we are gonna write the two and three-fourths quarts of T at the bottom. And the original question, or the question says, how many cups? So our cups is what is unknown right now, okay? So once you've set up your proportion, you're just gonna solve this exactly like we've been solving before. You are going to multiply your diagonals and divide by what's left. And the answer that you get will be um, how many cups of coffee she made. So off to the side, you need to multiply four times two and three fourths. Um, you're gonna put four over one and you need to cartwheel your mixed number. So that will give you, that will give you four over one times Four times two is eight, plus three is 11 over four. And then for multiplying fractions, you will just multiply the numerators straight across and you'll multiply the denominators straight across. So you would get four times 11, which is 44. And I'm sorry, that's kind of squished. And then one times four is four. So I'm gonna write that over on the other side because we need to look at it still. So 44. Sorry, my app's messing up. Over four. Um, this can be simplified. So if you can divide both of these by four, 44 divided by four gives you 11, and four divided by four gives you one, which just equals 11. Now the last part is to divide by the number that is left. We have one quarts left. So 11 divided by one just leaves you with 11, um, so the answer stays the same. And our units was cups. So 11 cups is our answer. Now if we take a look at the next one, it says Miss Smith is coaching her volleyball team. She has 72 liters of water for the team. How many kiloliters does she have? So remember, you're gonna set up her proportion and we are gonna write down our the conversion that they give us first. A thousand liters equals one kiloliters. So, a thousand liters, I'm abbreviating here, is one kiloliter. Um, and remember, just like up top, how we had cups and cups on top and quarts and quarts on the bottom, you have to keep it consistent consistent. So since liters is up top and they gave us liters in the original problem, then 72 liters needs to go up top with the 1,000 liters. Um, and then the question says, how many kiloliters does she have? So our unknown is our kiloliters. Okay, so just like we do before and we've done, been doing, to solve this proportion, you're gonna multiply your diagonal and divide by what's left. So 70, 72 times one would give us 72. And then we need to divide by what's left. So 72 divided by 
a thousand. So just to save me some space and so you guys can see my division, I'm gonna be writing this into problem three, uh, but you guys don't do that. Write it off to the side. Um, so a thousand will go outside the house and 72 will go inside the house. Um, a thousand cannot go into seven. It cannot go into 72. It cannot go into um, 720 but it can go into 7,200. And, <clears throat> excuse me, 1,000 goes into 7,200 seven times, which would be 7,000. You subtract, you would get 200, add a zero, drop a zero, 1,000 goes into 2,000 two times, which gives me 2,000, subtract, and we are done. And our decimal, I know it's kind of hard to see, is right here, right? Bring it straight up. So our answer here would be 72 thousandths. Okay. And we would just need to put our units. We've already multiplied diagonally and divided by what's left. So our units is kiloliters. Okay, and that is it. Okay, for the next problem, it says baby Jimmy lost six ounces in two weeks. How many grams did he lose? And then it gives you the conversion. One ounce equals 28 and 35 hundredth grams. So set up your proportion. You're going to fill in the conversion that they give you first. One ounce is... 28 and 3,500 grams. And then you go back to the problem and fill what in what they gave you. They gave you six ounces. So six ounces goes on top. And the question says how many grams. So the unknown is our grams. Then we just solve um, like we would solve a regular proportion. Multiply your diagonals and divide by what's left. So we are going to multiply 28 and 35, what, hundredths times 6, okay, 5 times 6 is 30, carry your 3, 6 times 3 is 18, plus 3 is 21, carry your 2, 6 times 8 is 48, plus 2 is 50, carry the 5, and 6 times 2 is 12, plus um, 5 is 17. And then you've got two numbers behind the decimal place here, so you need two numbers behind your decimal place here. One, two. Okay, so you get 170 and one tenth. The last step would be to divide by what's left. Well, we have one left, so... 170 and one tenth divided by one is just 170 and one tenth. Um, so we need to just put our units, which would be grams. And that's it. Okay, for the last problem, it says a rain, it rained a total of 15 inches last week. How many milliliters did it rain? Um, and then it gave the conversion, 25 and 4 tenths millimeters equals one inch. So we're going to set this up just like we've been doing. We got our proportion. We're gonna fill in the conversion that they gave us, 25 and 4 tenths millimeters is one inch. And then go back to the problem. They gave us 15 inches. Inches need to go on the bottom. So 15 inches. And our unknown is in the question, how many milliliters? So we don't know how many millimeters. Multiply your diagonals and divide by what's left. So we are gonna be multiplying 25 and four tenths times 15. Remember, you don't have to line up your decimals. 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 5 is 25 
plus two is 27. Five times two is 10, plus two is 12. Put in your placeholder. One times four, oh, make sure you cross out those numbers above. One times four is four, one times five is five, and then one times two is two. Add down zero, 11, eight, and three. And we have one number behind the decimal place, so we need one number behind the decimal place here, so scoot it one time. So you would get 381. The last thing we're gonna do is divide by what's left, which is one inch. So that would just give you 381. And our units here would be millimeters, because that was our unknown. I want you to flip your paper over and try the next four on your own. Remember to set up your conversion first, then fill, it what, fill in what you know and solve it like we've been solving proportions for the last couple, um, the last week or so. <clears throat> and then I want you to check the key online, um, check all of your work. They may be set up a little bit differently, but you should be getting the exact same answers um, if you're solving it correctly. Good luck.